morning. Can I see your thumbs? Do you have thumbs? Yep. You have thumbs? Of course you do. Yep. Okay, good. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. You're going to show me thumbs up or thumbs down, okay? Was Jesus known to make thumbs up choices or thumbs down choices? Thumbs up choices. Very good. Thank you. Thumbs. Now, Jesus' behavior really honors and respects his heavenly father, didn't it? So that's what our behavior should be as well. Being part of God's family means that my behavior should honor God and respect him. When we say to Jesus that we want to follow Jesus and we ask him to forgive our sins, he forgives our sins, he makes us one of God's children, he fills us with the Holy Spirit and he helps us become more like him, Jesus. He makes us, helps us become more like him. We stop doing things our way and we start doing things God's way. So when Peter and the apostles were filled with the Holy Spirit, they, Peter stood up and preached. And one of the first things he said is, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Repent. What does repent mean? Okay, I'm going to give you an example. Yesterday, my husband picked up uh, my children from uh, no, actually, he took them bike riding. And then he came home. I was upstairs when they got home. And then when I came downstairs, there was a jumper lying just in the hallway, on the floor, in the middle of the place. And I said, there is a jumper in the middle of the hallway. Now, my child could have said, she did yell out, oh, sorry, yes, it's a, my daughter, did yell out from the kitchen, sorry. Now, if she said, sorry, and then I walk away, I come back and the jumper is still there. And I say, there is a jumper in the middle of the hallway. Sorry. I walk away, I come back, the jumper is still there. That is what we call sorry, not sorry. You're not really sorry, are you? But repentance is my daughter going, sorry. I walk away, I come back, the jumper has been put away. Repentance is saying sorry and putting the jumper away. So repentance is saying sorry and then changing what was wrong, what was the wrong behavior. Now, but I want us to, I just want to clarify this point. Do I love my daughter more when she puts the jumper away? Do I love her less when she leaves a jumper in the middle of the hallway? No, I'll love her no matter what, right? Whether she puts jumpers away, she doesn't put jumpers away, but no matter what she does, I love her. So it's the same with us. When we behave and act, become more like Jesus, does that make God love us more? No, God already loves you. Whether you do good or you do bad, you make thumbs up choices, thumbs down choices, whatever you do, God loves you maximum. But because he loves us like that, we want to worship him. We want to honor him. It is because he loves us like that, that we want to become more like Jesus. So repenting is saying sorry and then changing. Have you ever felt so bad after you've done something that it made you cry? Have a think. Have you ever done that? I've seen my children do that. I've done that. Now, that is a good start to repenting. When that happens, say sorry and then stop doing it. The Holy Spirit will help us change. When I was your age, I lied all the time. I actually couldn't stop myself from telling lies. It was very second nature to me. I lied to get attention from grown-ups. I lied so that my friends would think that I was more interesting. I also lied to get out of trouble. I've done something wrong, and then when I was asked if I did it, I said no. But 
I actually go a, went a step further. I lied intentionally to get other people into trouble. That's really bad, isn't it? And when I was 17 years old, I learned about Jesus loving me and that he died on the cross for me. I believed that and I asked Jesus to forgive me. He made me one of God's children. He filled me with the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit started changing me. So to repent is to say sorry and tell the truth only, right? I had to learn to tell the truth all the time now. And it was a new thing, a new behavior. I'm going to ask my daughter, who may or may not have left her jumper in the hallway, to come. I'm going to ask her something. So my daughter, Sandra, has been learning to play the drums. And she's quite good at it. And she has an amazing drum teacher. OK, Sandra. If we want to get good at drums, which was a new thing you were learning, what do we need to do? You need to practice. Uh, just one time? No, every time. Uh, every day? Yes, every day. How many times a day? About ten. About ten times a day. Why? Why do we do that? So we can get good at things. So we can learn them from memory. Yeah. Thank you, Sandra. So when we are learning a new thing, we need to practice it a lot so that our brain, our heart, our muscles learn that new behavior, right? So learning to be like Jesus is the same. Learning to stop lying was the same for me. I needed to say sorry each time. I say sorry to God and I say sorry to the people I lied to and I ask him to help me and I tell the truth. In time, with lots of practice, today I very rarely tell lies, but when I do tell a lie, it eats me up inside. I wouldn't be able to eat, I wouldn't be able to sleep, I have to go to the people and I have to say sorry to them, I have to say sorry to God and um, and. God had l helped me learn that new behavior, okay? So if we say we are part of God's family, we need to act in a way that honors God. Ask the Holy Spirit and he will help us behave in a way that honors him. We need to be mindful of what we say and do. Now, in a little while, I'm going to ask you to have a chat with God about what is that one thing you need to change to honor God better this week, one thing. Maybe like me, you tell lies very often and you almost cannot control it. That is something we can ask God to forgive us and we ask the Holy Spirit to help us and we learn to tell the truth. Maybe it's taking things that don't belong to you. I, I did that too. I used to take things that didn't belong to me and then lie about it. Okay, maybe it is that you love hurting your brothers or sisters, or maybe you don't love hurting them. But when you're really angry, you can't help but to... Okay, that is a behavior that needs to change too, because it doesn't honor God, because honoring God means loving God and loving others. Maybe you are bullying someone at school. Even if you're not bullying someone at school, if someone else is bullying someone and making fun of them and you laugh alongside, that is actually bullying them too. Maybe that is a behavior we need to change. Maybe not obeying your parents. Your parents ask you to do something, you say, no, nah! and then they ask you some more, you get angry and you throw things at them. I'm sure you don't do that, but don't do that, okay? That is very not honoring to God because God asks us to, uh, uh, to obey our parents. Maybe it is not respecting teachers and your leaders. Did you know that the Bible asks us to respect our teachers and our leaders? Maybe you make fun of your teachers or when your teachers ask you to do things you don't listen or when you come to HDK, sometimes you ignore the leaders, you don't listen to them. These are things that we can ask God to help us change in our behavior. All right? I'm going to ask Adam to come. And now we're going to have a chat with God. I want to invite you to close your eyes. We close our eyes because it helps us not get distracted by things that we see. Okay, let's close our eyes and have a chat with God. And we say have a catch. Catch and see what God's saying to you. So talk to God. Tell him that you want him to help you change a behavior so that you can honor him more and see what God says to you, okay? We're going to be silent. 
and you're going to chat with God. Lord, I want to pray for the children here and the children watching online. Lord, whatever it is, the behavior, the one one behavior, not too many, one just this week, what is it that one behavior you want uh, us to change and to learn a new behavior, to be more like Jesus, to honor you? Holy Spirit, I ask that you come and fill the children and help them be able to do uh, things your way now, not our way. So, Lord, I pray, Holy Spirit, you come and help us change. In Jesus' name, amen.